In this video, you will learn how to create a combo chart in Microsoft Excel. A combo chart is the combination of bar or column chart and a line graph. Currently, you can see here I have generated this combo chart using this set of data. It is the data about the sale versus profit during different months. First column shows the sale data while second column shows the profit data. In this graph, I have used two vertical axes because there was a significant difference between the sale versus profit data because sale was in thousands while profit was in hundred. Currently, you can see here on first vertical axis, I have displayed the data of sale in rupees while on secondary vertical axis, I have displayed the data of profit in rupees. Additionally, if you want to learn about the line graph or bar graph, then separate video tutorials are available on our channel. You can watch those videos for more information. So in this video, we will only focus on combo chart, which is the combination of line graph as well as bar graph. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. To generate a combo chart, firstly, I will select this data. Now you can see here I have selected this data. After selecting this data, go to Insert tab. In Insert tab, you will find the option of Charts. From Chart, you will find multiple options. Go to this option. Insert combo chart, select this one and you will find multiple option. First one is the cluster column line graph without secondary axis. I want to avail second option which is the clustered column line on secondary axis. Select this one. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted a combo chart but this is not according to our expectation. Hence we will conditionally format this graph like this one. Firstly, select this graph, click here. Now you can see here this graph is selected. It is indicated by these circles. After doing that, here you will find different options. First one is chart style. You can choose any style. After that, here you will find the option of change colors. You can use default color scheme. Additionally, you will also learn how to conditionally format this graph and choose color according to your requirement. Here is the option of quick layout. If you click here, you will find different layout. You can choose any one according to your requirement. Now you will learn how to conditionally format it. Firstly, I will select this one. Go to this chart element option or plus sign. And here you will find multiple option. Firstly, I am interested to remove these grid lines. So I will deselect grid line option. Now I am interested to insert axis title, so I will select this option. If you are interested to insert data label, you can choose this option. I am not interested to insert data label, so I will not select this option. After doing that, click anywhere on Excel sheet. Now firstly, I will insert a title, select this one. Again click on it. This chart shows the sale versus profit. Again select this title and change its color to black bold and font size 16. Now select this axis title and it shows the sale in rupees. I will write sale in rupees in formula bar. Press enter bold it and change its color to black. Now select the axis title of horizontal axis. It shows the month. Again click here and write month.
Similarly, select this one and it indicates the profit. Now select this one, double click on format printer option and format other according to this one. Now select this axis, right click, go to format axis option and here you will find different options. I want to change minimum value to 2000 so I will write 2000. If I click anywhere then the minimum value is changed to 2000 instead of 0. I will click here. Now you can see here the minimum value is changed now. Again select this axis, right click, go to format axis option and here you will find the option of fill and line. Go to line option. And here you will find the option of solid line. Select this one and choose the color. I will choose black. You can also adjust the width of this line using this option, which is the width. I will choose 1.5 pt. Now again go to axis option and scroll down. Here you will find the option of tick marks. I want to insert tick marks on outside. I will select major type tick marks on outside and minor type tick marks on outside. Similarly select this one, right click, go to format axis option and go to fill and line option. From here you can adjust the minimum and maximum value as I earlier explained. Go to fill and line option and from here I will select solid line and you can change the color using this option and you can adjust the width using this option. Additionally, if you are interested to insert tick marks like this one, then you can follow the similar step as I earlier explained. I will select horizontal axis, right click, go to format axis option and you can choose the color and width of line as I earlier explained. I will choose solid line and black color and 1.5 pt width. I will close this one. Now you will learn how to format these bars and line. Select this bar, right click, go to format data series and here you will find the option of plot series on primary axis or secondary axis. If I choose secondary axis then it will display on secondary axis. If I choose primary axis then it will display on primary axis. Go to fill and line option. Here you will find the option of fill. You can select solid fill and you can change the color of bar using this option. For example, I will choose this one. If I scroll down, you will find the option of border. Border around these bars, select solid line. And from here you can choose the color of border. And here is the option of width. You can also control the width of this border. I will choose 1 pt. After that I will close this one. Now click on this line. Now you can see here this line is selected. Right click. Go to format data series option. And here you will find the option of series option. Either you want to plot this series on primary axis or secondary axis. You can choose any option. After that. Go to fill and line option and here you will find the option of line and marker. You can insert the marker using this option. For example, again I go to marker option 
and I will select building and you can choose any marker for example I will select this one additionally if you want to change the color and border of these markers then you can use fill and line option here is the option of fill of these markers and here is the option of border of markers I will again go to line option and I will choose solid line from here you can change the color of line and here is the option of width of this line I will choose 2 pt and here is the option of dash type dash type of this line you can choose anyone currently it is solid line if you want to select dotted line then you can use this option if you are interested to adjust the gap width between these parts then separate video tutorial is available on our channel you can watch that video so by doing so you can easily create a combo chart and conditionally format it according to your requirement that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye